Hey. Welcome to another video. We're starting it in the car because apparently that's a cool thing to do. Yeah. Who is it that starts the videos in the car? Or used to? The Canopics. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I said it right. <laughs> She's been practicing, guys. Like, genuinely. Yeah. So, plan of action for today. Amy's been moody as hell this morning. So we're going getting her a Starbucks because that makes everybody happy. Wait, can we explain? So basically, I finished nights yesterday morning and I've only got one day off between shifts. So I had this bright idea that yesterday I wouldn't sleep. So then I slept for a couple of hours. Like two hours. And then at the night time I couldn't sleep even though I was exhausted. So this morning, I am a bit grumpy. And you're on your period. And I'm on my period. So she's been barrel of laughs this morning. And we, it's currently 3pm and we haven't eaten yet. Um, so the shower's been... broken. Um, it's not been a good I've morning. I've got greasy hair and um, got to come on to you guys with looking like crap. You look alright. Um, what else is annoying me? Oh. Me. Um, <laughs> yeah, she keeps getting grumpy at me. Because you're being grumpy. <laughs> you're not allowed to be grumpy at me. Um, oh, I want a holiday. So I sat this morning googling holidays. I'll tell you what, while you rant, I'm okay. going to start driving. I want a holiday. Um, we Google when I'm moody because I get all depressed that I can't have a holiday. Um, yeah. I want a baby. Um, so yesterday I sat Instagramming babies. Instagramming babies? What? Clarify that you mean liking pictures. Liking pictures on Instagram of babies. I don't know, like, I'm just having one of them days where I'm getting inspired and I can't take my hand still. So we're going to go and see you at Starbucks when I've got my. What are you going to get? White mocha. You're gonna go for a white mocha? Yeah. Let us know what is your favourite thing to order at Starbucks. White because mocha. I can't decide. Like I love a caramel macchiato, but I like a white mocha as well. What else do I like? Um I don't know. I'm going for a white mocha with cream, sorry. Um, Are you gonna go for Guinness? No. <laughs> with um what do I have on top cinnamon? Yeah. That's the one guys. Right, we'll see you then. I've added my cinnamon and um, mixed my cream in. I'm a bit happy already. <laughs> also, I'd like to say, I get grumpy about being grumpy. And I get grumpy about you being grumpy. So then I get grumpy at Lucy for being grumpy at me for being grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all just a vicious circle. Um, but yeah, life's good again. I just know it. It's the bit that you can count on. Breakfast. Lunch, dinner, whatever. It's 20 to 4. I'm so ready for this. It's uh, usually Amy who spills stuff, not me. Uh, <laughs> I'm wearing my bra from last time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> I hate parking in this car park. <laughs> Let's see if the car's even still there. The sign's all over it saying, car thieves are working in this area. Do you think I can just wear my hood up instead and just not have greasy hair and like a hood instead? You can you <laughs> in every <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next step, find some more food. Yorkshire pudding's an essential part of tonight's dinner. Would you do a roast without dinner? What? Wait, what? Would you do no. a roast without Yorkshire's? No, and you'd also have them with gravy. Yes, Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the point in our kitchen where our cupboards are full, our fridge is pretty much full, but we've got nothing to eat. Yeah. It's not acceptable. Because we've got no bread and we've got no Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> it's just not acceptable. Where did the sun go? It's now night time. Um, <laughs> it's literally gone five o'clock. And I'm eating my olives. And tomatoes, because the top of that looked all red. <laughs> and tomatoes. Oh my days. We need to go home, cook dinner. All we've done is eat <laughs> this afternoon. We've got some stuff to tell you as well. Yes, Most we do. to go through some bits with you. Batman. Yeah, I've been looking at my donor profile and trying to write it, and it's just so hard. Like, what do you even write? But we'll get into that when I get home. But yeah, we accidentally went in there for breading Yorkshire puddings. 
we came out with two bags worth of stuff. How much was it? Like 50, 60 quid. Uh -huh. Might have accidentally brought little presents. presents for baby Ryan and baby Landon. Oh. So maybe you guys will be getting some posts soon. When Luce gets to post office to post it. And then whenever it arrives, because sometimes it can take a while to get to work. Yeah. But they're cute and I'm kind of them ourselves. Yeah, literally it was painful. Why do we do this? Do you all, like, if you're trying to conceive, do you look at all the baby stuff in the little shops? Because everywhere I go, I want to look. Everywhere. Do you want any of these? Yes. Right, okay, I'm going to go before she eats more. On to actual purpose of the video, I guess. Um, I have been trying... Wait, so food wasn't the purpose of the video? Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> Cheering a grumpy Amy, it wasn't the purpose of the video. Um, obviously because I'm egg sharing, I need to write a donor profile. So like everyone in like, the same sex community, they're looking for sperm donors or egg donors. We've looked through so many sperm do donor profiles. It's such a bizarre thing to have to write your own. Mm. And it's hard. I ain't got a clue what to write. <laughs> like, there's so much pressure on it, like... So we in know, it... We kind of know how much we... Like how important it was to us when choosing a sperm donor, like the profile well, the, and equally, was... it's not even that they like we've already got a recipient. They don't get to see the, they don't oh, get to yeah. see this information to choose me. So this information is just for the kid when they're old enough. Okay, and you want it to be good. You want it to be good. You don't want them to read it and go, uh, a bit disappointed. Uh, uh. Yeah, like you and want it to be good. Yeah. be like an accurate reflection of yourself so in that if i've got so this is the form that um that you have to fill out it's a hfea form so it's all kind of standardized across the country in it it's got like my my well obviously my details and in it the, there's some writing bits which is reasons for donating a goodwill message for anyone born as a result of your donation and a page long um, personal description so a page of me writing about myself I'm not very good at that so I've been struggling I've not started trying to write this bit yet so this is that's probably tonight's job but for the other one I've not actually filled the form in yet but I've done a bit of a draft and I'm gonna let Amy read it and see what she thinks Cute. Is it cute? Yeah, it's sweet. I like that. So you've just. So that was the reasons for donating. Yeah, and I think it's very accurate. Yeah. It's basically what we say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's good. So basically, we're focused on obviously being able to help an another family start. And being able to empathise with the difficulty of. Yeah. So that's kind of the the. The reasons I've given and the gist of it. Obviously, I don't want to say exactly what I've wrote because I don't want to make it too identifiable. Yeah. But right. yeah, no, I think you've worded it really nice. Better than I could have done anyway. That's... Okay. And then a... So this is... <laughs> that, that was my scribbles. So this section that you're about to read is a goodwill message to anyone born as a result of this donation. I'm going to say how Lucy started this. Hello! Exclamation mark. <laughs> I'm not my man up for that. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's very you. <laughs> Hello. Um, At the end, watch us say goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, um, not doing that. <laughs> Write to uh, what? What do you write? <laughs> well, it might make me cry. <laughs> oh, she is emotional today. <laughs> is it nice? Yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna cry. She's gonna cry. Look, she she bring it towards to her eyes. <laughs> no, I look really rough. <laughs> no, it's nice. It's really nice. Yeah. I'll the camera up. You won't want, 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 I shouldn't change anything. No, I don't think so. 
But like, I wrote this so so many times. Like I've got another page full of like scribbles that I scribbled out and rewrote it. And yeah. So basically, we when we had our counselling, which we're going to talk about in another video in more detail. Um, we kind of asked how we should approach writing the profile, and she basically just told us write what you'd like to see. If you were in that position, what would you want to know? So it's it's hard to put ourselves in that position, or myself anyway, in that position. But give it a good go. Hence doing a draft first. You can't write that straight on there. On no, the no I think you've done really well for it. You've done so much better than I could have done. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, quite, I, I like writing. I think, I think it's an important, it's, so it's important. something that's important to get right. Yeah. Don't, it's like with our sperm donor, I a big thing for me is I don't want the... Like I, I'm hoping that our donor profile is a reflection of our donor, okay? So mm. when the child reaches 18 and, and they see the profile, um, if they choose to reach out to the donor, I don't want them to be disappointed. Yeah, um, exactly. Same way, same, same way I'm guessing you feel. Yeah, exactly. And we need it to be me. Hello. <laughs> I know what you can write in the bit about you then. Wow. I am an idiot. I spill coffee down myself. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna end the vlog here and go and pray the loft i'm convinced again. there's an animal up there we keep hearing um, like sh like noises <sighs> i don't know if there is an animal i'm hoping it's like a mouse and not a rat, a rat and we're, re we're really worried a raccoon or... we're, we're worried about because the shower stopped working today like the power's gone to it and there's power cables for it in the loft we're so wishy <laughs> we're so scared that, scared that there's something, something in there and it's been through the wires because that's not good, and... If you don't see me again, I've been eaten by a rat. I hope not. I really hope it's not a rat. I'm like, so scared to go Are rats like this big? Not generally, but they can get pretty big. I don't think there's like something that rats. big up there, but... Okay. The thought of... Imagine it runs on me or something. Or imagine it runs down that... Oh, but it's... we need to go check it out, apparently. We do. <laughs> no one to do it. So, wish us luck. Um... I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like rating, drop us a comment. Um, Sorry so, I wasn't on farm today. <laughs> no, you're, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye. Bye bye.